bouncing. bouncing. Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you the difference in picture quality when running a Sega Assassin through an RGB to VGA scaler but the main reason for this video is a problem I had after I had the Seb Switchless mod installed on my console and the problems this install caused with picture shift issues and I was finally able to resolve this problem by using a GBS 82000 RGB to VGA scaler which you saw at the beginning of the video which allowed me to use the on screen display features to move the image and change the picture size as well as a few more features that are available on the scaler. If you want to use this scaler you will first need to build a sync amp in order to be able to see the picture from the Sega Saturn. The links will be available in the description on how to build one. As you saw there was still image, that's the um, the eventual setup, not pretty I know but it, it, it certainly um, it worked. Right, as you can see this is the NTSC J setting on me uh, Saturn and as you can see there is just a border to the extreme right. There's no other picture shift anywhere else on this image. That was one of the issues. Now you can see I've changed over to the PAL settings, and there's um, the border's not as wide on the right side, but there was also a bordering at the top and the bottom of the picture as well. And to me, this is just unacceptable. And initially, I had no ideas on what to do, and then I just happened to come about this scaler, and um, I was hoping that it would resolve some issues, but. Um, Initially, I'll just show you the difference in picture quality between Sega Saturn just through RGB as standard and then running through the scale of via VGA, which will um, double up the image to 480p. This is what you'll see when the scale is just turned on. And then so switched on the Saturn now. There's no picture shift issues here because I've, I've already resolved the issue, so this is just. Um, Difference in picture quality that you'll see initially. I'm running it through. Um, I've also got a Sega Saturn uh, Ray as well. I do own 80% of those games that you did see there. Then so it's just the most expensive ones that I don't possess. Now, so initially you'll see a split screen. It's, it's not very good actually. The split screen. It's, it's one of the first times I've. I've use this method in a video but I think you'll get a good sense of the difference in picture on the left is the scaler on the right it says it would just be through RGB the, bright, the brightness was too intense on the scaler but you can change those as you'll see shortly but um, yeah, I think hopefully you can see though that there's there's definitely a better clarity the colors are more vibrant the text is a lot clearer Probably one of the best images that you'll get out of a Sega Saturn using a cheap scaler like this anyway. Because I've got it got from China, it's a £13 it cost. As you can see there from the image as well, it's, it's nice. But um, yeah, these are the, this is the on-screen display anyway. So initially, there's the, you can change the resolutions. And then the um, the picture, they'll give you the contrast and the brightness. And you can see that it'll turn up to 70 for some unknown reason. But it would have looked a lot more the colours would have been a lot more vibrant at the time the brightness down but here's the main reason was the geometry and like I said the picture shift issues had already been resolved because these are not the settings by default if you was on NTSC J or NTSC U these were the settings that I used they were both the same but if I changed to the PAL I had to increase I had to change the settings I think it I can't recall, I think it was the um, H size, the horizontal size and the vertical size that I had to change in order to get the, to, to order to get the picture full on screen but um, as you can see there, I was going through the settings with the, on the menu and the, um, the switch this for the four switches that you saw at the, on the scale at the beginning so you never get through the menu and change the various settings which you can see that I'm stretching the image can move it in any direction, change the size, and it just it works a treat. So it resolved the problems that I had with those picture shift issues that to me were just unacceptable, and, and I was uh, pleased with the eventual outcome. All the links will be in the description on um, how to build the same camp that you saw, and um, yeah, I hope this helped you. So thanks for watching. Bye.